Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my NCT backlog video. It's been ages since we've seen anything NCT. I think my last video might have been on Beatbox. So we're going to go through plenty of the groups within NCT and catch up on their releases. We've got one from 127, which is AO. We've got two from Dream Candy, which I know is a cover. I just don't know from who. Um, and also Best Friend Ever, one of their Japanese releases. And then finishing it out with finally Wavy had a comeback with their song Phantom. Uh, so yeah, we've got plenty of catching up to do with these guys. And like I kind of mentioned on a lot of my NCT videos, they used to be a, a, a unit, a conglomerate, if you want to call them, that I used to react to quite often when I started my channel um, and really loved their shit. I think 127 specifically recently, the last handful of the releases haven't been for me outside of like um, uh, Vampire. Favorite, favorite vampire um which i love love loved so i've kind of just fallen off the wagon i think and also all the stuff that's been going on with wavy and and that situation um i don't even know if lucas is actually in this comeback uh that was just had with phantom i really don't know i thought i thought he was but we'll see when we get to it um so i've maybe forgotten a handful of names here outside of maybe the members of 127 i'm gonna be forgetting a lot of names which is unfortunate one thing I really want to do over on Patreon, where I always have my live stages, album reactions, and variety shows over on there, is do more boy group stuff in general, because it's been really girl group focused recently. And so I'm going to put it out here to you guys. Out of these three groups here, give me a, an album that they have done, your favorite, one that I should be checking out in its entirety, because I haven't heard a B-side from NCT, any NCT unit in a long time. And I will do that over on Patreon. So please let me know down below in the comments uh, which is the best one to check out, whether it's a recent one or maybe one that they released a year, year and a half ago. I haven't heard it, definitely. So let me know. And without further ado, let's get to it. This is NCT 127 with AO. Let's go. Ayo. Mm. Things will never be What's he thinking about right the ship here with me? I need to up this volume. Oh, that's a look. Bring back Gen 2. Oh, h vocals. Oh my god. This beat, though, is selling me. How we do that. How we do that. Clock is ticking. How we do that. Low tone king. Ooh. That look stands out so much compared to everyone else's. Is that tail going off? The beat during the verses is so subtle and so hard. What is he doing? Hold on. Holy shit. He came in hard on this verse after the first chorus. We're using a lot of load. Deep. Shattered doctrine. The beat on this song alone is selling me. I swear to God. Footwork from Mark. Johnny's always wearing mesh or no shirt at all. Mm -hmm. 
I like the chorus. But the verses are kind of where it's at with this song. I gotta say, so far, I am so pleasantly surprised because with the title, like, AO, I was kind of expecting something in the vein of, like, oh, no, that's right, we checked out two baddies, one Porsche, that's right, that was the lessons. That's how maybe kind of forgetful it was for me. Um, and that's in the lane of what I was expecting from AO with that title, but it's it's a lot better. I really like this. <laughs> Oh, he's wearing mesh too. Hey yo. Hey I see. This reminds me of some older 127 that had a bit more RB elements. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I want to roll it back. The transitions in the song are, are really killing me. They're stark going from the chorus to just straight cut out where uh, it's a bit slowed down and gives you just room to gather yourself. And then that's juxtaposed with a punch in the mouth that you get right here with Mark entering this next verse with straight speed. That mirrored tunnel looks sick. Mm. This is highlighting every aspect of them that I love. Vocals, rap line shining, and the R&B silky vocal. Oh, and it has great structure too. I like that there was no, at least I couldn't discern any prototypical bridge here. We kind I guess the bridge was that R and B bit, but it didn't feel like a, a, a bridge to me because it didn't necessarily lead straight into the chorus. We had that next rap verse uh, from Mark, and then leading into the uh, the final outro chorus, and I liked that. I want to listen to this again. I'm actually very impressed with this because, like I said, with the title AO, I was kind of expecting something like Two Baddies, and I, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. This I like so 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 much more. Bring me back on board. Let's check it out again. Hey, yo. Look, things will never be the same like you, Pretty man. simple video. Well shot though. There's not a ton of different like sets. That is an outfit, man. He looks like a villain in Kingdom Hearts. Like that's not quite Final Fantasy, is Kingdom Hearts. And they keep switching between these two like representations of themselves almost where they have chains all over them, but you've got like your normal like almost stylized chains here and then they switch over to these gargantuan ones. It's pissing me off. Is that Doyan? Why can't I remember his name? Is it Doyan? Who are you? He is the star of this song. I think that's Jungle. Tail. Tang looks at the camera like he wants to do things to it. Mark's also back with the blue hair, which I love. Hey, yo. He fucked this part up so hard.
Wait, 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 wait. I'm dumb. That's right. I'm like, Doyoung is not a rapper, correct? It's Jayun. I'm so confused. We're good now. That's not the first time this is gonna happen in this video. He just fucks this song up so hard. Ugh. This beat is grimy. Mm. Mm. The vert ramps in the back are sick. I don't know why we suddenly are doing BMX, but. Ooh, I like that too. The projection creates a really cool separation effect with him in the background. That was Doyoung, yes? funny because the chorus is usually where you get your drop and everything i find that the verses go so hard in this song the chorus is my like release from it where it gets a bit brighter mm. hey yo I thought he was going to fuck it up again, though, <laughs> at this scene. This is where we get... Ooh. Sensual. Ah, and there's a great, like, feedback static effect. Oh. Great camera movements. Yeah. With with Hae oh, with Hae with tail in the back, like they have some of the best ad libs. Very impressed with this release. Damn. All right. Well, that's a good way to start off. I don't know if we're going to be able to match that, but that's exactly what I wanted from them. It reminds me a bit of their older stuff. It has still the experimental stuff of, of some of their older shit that I really like. Like Simon says, we have some weirdness in there, but it's a... Uh, it's more them than I feel like I've been recently getting. Maybe we got too much into the weird beat with like sticker and things like that, which I can appreciate here and then, but it's not like my favorite NCT 127 track that I jump towards. Uh, now let's move on to NCT Dream with their song Candy. I know that this is a cover. I'm actually gonna look it up real quick to see who it is. Ah, uh, hot. That's right. I have heard of that group before, but I don't exactly know. Probably Gen 1 or Gen 2. Haven't heard their actual music before, but let's dive in. Let's go. This is gonna be much brighter. I'll take it. You know? Oh, thank God they have their names on jerseys. I know you though. This looks like the glitch mode, but all pretty up. Oh, okay. Super bright. It almost sounds like a, a Saturday morning cartoon intro. It 
it's kind of trotty. Dude, we're just, it's full circle. We're right back into chewing gum era. We're right back into chewing gum. Maybe not that cute. Uh, was this a special Christmas drop? Random kids sleeping in the background. Are they Santa? That's this song! Oh! I love this chorus! I have seen so many groups cover this. I saw a group cover this on something like a week ago. And I'm like, I know this song. I've seen this a million times. This song is so good. The chorus, ah. Oh. That's awesome that they covered this. Fucking it up on the dance dance revolution. <laughs> I can't take it on seriously. Bouncy and feel good. The verses are good, but the chorus. That's right. I'm remembering all these names now. Chenle, Jamin, I, I remember. Instrumental cutout. Bring the vocals up. That set. The unison harmony makes this chorus so rich. Is that location this? Did they build this just for the that's such a sick looking tree and everything? Did they build that just for the video? What? That looks so damn cool. What is it? it just, I think those are random letters that are supposed to be MMs. Thought they would have spelt something out. That would have been cool. Man. What a cool song to cover too. That's one that I've heard like crazy uh, groups covering and whatnot, the, the chorus specifically. And I love it. It's so catchy. It's got such like a bright feel to it. I like that they cover that. It also reminds me of some of their older stuff. And also this set here. I don't know if this is supposed to be alluding to. I know it's like they're the elves working on toys and everything, but it really reminds me of the glitch mode set as well. Great song. Uh, that was great. Now we're going to move on to their Japanese track, which is called Best Friend Ever. And I've actually heard some really, really good things about this one. I think it's maybe a little bit more low key or not necessarily emotional, but we'll see. NCT Dream with Best Friend Ever. SM, don't block this, please. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, synthase line. Hold on a second. Oh. 
Any synth forward song is gonna have my heart automatically. I didn't expect this from an NCT unit, honestly. But this vibe uh, is kind of, even though the songs are not necessarily similar, it's given me like a little hello future, just I think in the tone of the song. And I love hello future. This video is. They spent money on this Japanese release. Giant rubber ducks. It's got a really classic pop feel in this chorus. The bridge would go hard. Like how it echoes out and gets more spacey. I wanna, I wanna kick it back to the beginning. And then they even mirror that by being in space. That was trippy. Get between us. And I wanna be the best thing the best If you're gonna use this much CG, make it feel like I'm tripping on acid, and that's what you're doing. It turns all denim. All all of them in all denim almost. on the sax hello oh, that final chorus felt so layered and dense like everything built upon itself t-rex on the sax what mv can say it has that that's my brain right now that's my brain yeah, I mean, that for sure brought it. I, I I didn't honestly expect maybe a sound like that. If it were to be any subunit, actually, from NCT, it would be Dream that would do a song like that. And I, I tend to be always a sucker for, for these. I like 127 to be the ones that are either going to go hard or go ultra sensual. Or, uh, and then Dream to be the ones that give me maybe a bit more of the catchy, peppy, poppy type songs. Um... And then Wavy. So Wavy released Phantom. It's been a while. I think the song before Phantom was was Kickback, which was feels like centuries ago at this point. I don't know if Lucas is in this. I, I know there's that whole situation or what's even going on with that. I'm very much on the periphery of it, so I, I don't even know where fans necessarily fall on that line. Um, but let's check out the song. I, again, I don't know where Wavy then sits into that whole mix. I very much feel like they're... They're kind of their own thing, and they do all different types of stuff. Uh, so let's see. Wavy with Phantom. Starting off with Ten right here. Right in our face. What? What these... The... And Win-win? 
I, I remember, I think. Liking this concept. Mm. It's so gothy. I love it. The mullet. Oh, so I don't know what got into NCT this era, but everyone's using their low register, and it's just it's it's an attack. Uh, and I'm really digging this concept, and even the way that they're moving and the way that the chorus rises and falls feels like some kind of incantation, like like spell like spellbinding. I like. That. What are they doing? Lang Lang, right? Lang Lang, that's his name? Blonde? I, I can't believe I even remember some of these names. That looks so fucking cool. And the way some of the beat, the, I'm sorry for pausing so much, but the beat is is them breathing in and out, I think. Yeah. Oh. It's really theatrical. Ted is out of his mind when it comes to the most powerful centers in the industry. He's got to be like top five. Easy. Oh. oh, I like the strings at this portion. Aggression in the beat. The design on these sets, and there's so many of them, it really is like two different worlds here that we're transporting between. This one that's put together and this one that, that's destroyed. Is this song supposed to be about like giving in Obviously, it has to do with, like, there's a Phantom of the Opera vibe here and things being obfuscated or hidden by, by a mask, things not appearing uh, or being as what they seem. But it also felt like in some of the, the lyrics, what they were describing was, like, giving into temptation, just, like, saying, fuck it, and, and just giving it all in. I don't know. But 
I really like this concept. I dug the song. Something like this, I'm much more uh, interested in than stuff like Kickback. I thought that had good qualities to it, but I much prefer something that's going a bit more artistic with this for them. Uh, I think it's a good fit. Uh, so yeah, for being away for so long, I'd say that that's a solid comeback from Wavy. And I was surprised that I remembered as many names as I did. Uh, so when it comes to all of these groups, please let me know what is the album I should be checking out, whether it be a mini album or a full album. It's been way too long since I've done anything NCT and I would love to do something over on Patreon from them. So recommend it to me down below in the description and I'll be sure to get to that pronto. Um, and like always, I've got live stages, album reactions, and variety shows for plenty of groups over on Patreon. We've got some older stuff from all these groups if you want to go and check that out too. You can use the search function, which is very, uh, I'd say just not very good over on Patreon, but hopefully it'll pop up there for you. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to me if you are new. Check out all my previous videos on NCT and Wavy. I've got plenty down below in the description. Nice playlist there for you. And I'll see you guys next time.